Hey guys, how you doing? Do you ever... Have, have you felt out of place your whole, whole life? Have you felt out of place? Hi, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight, just in case you don't know who I am and you happen to be listening to me. And I am that girl, okay? I am that girl who has felt out of place her whole life. Felt out of sync with everybody else in her world. I was brought up in the UK. Well, I was born in the UK, went to Nigeria, lived there for a while, okay? A long while, actually. Never felt quite like I fit in to that culture. In fact, even my parents would say, you're not white, you're not, you're not black, so you're not black enough. How dare you tell us if I ever dare to question any of their their ways of doing things like, yeah, look at you, you're not quite black enough <laughs> or African enough. And I've always felt a little bit out of step with the world around me or the people in my world and the, the way that they want to live life as opposed to the way that I want to live life. I've always had these big ideas inside of me about the things that I'm supposed to be doing on this planet. And maybe you are exactly the same. This feeling that you're out of step with everybody else around you, this feeling that you're you're slightly odd, <laughs> let's put it that way, um, this feeling that you are, that, that I mean, for a while there, I thought there was something wrong with me, truth be told, for a while there, I really did think there was something wrong with me that I didn't quite fit in. And you know what, even when I tried to fit in, when I tried to do what I felt people wanted me to do, it didn't work. If anything, they got more annoyed with me, thinking that I was trying even harder to be out of place. And maybe you've always felt that way too. I have something for you, okay? Because I had to set myself free from these feelings, from this need to be the same as people around me. I had to fully own who I was in order for me to step into my role as, 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 I don't know, spiritual person, as business coach even, as, <laughs> as, as prosperity minister, I had to, I had to put down the need to be anybody else. There were certain ideas I had to take on board. These were ideas that you probably already have, I had, but I thought I was odd for having them, okay? These simple spiritual ideas that I, I'd always kind of known deep down inside of me, but I hadn't fully taken on board. And there's four specific ones that I want to share with you in my brand new thing called Set Yourself Free. But first and foremost, I really want to, to get you to start thinking again a little bit about the need to feel like you fit in with certain people in your world. And most of us will never admit to the fact that we want to be approved of or that we want people to like us or that we want to, you know, it almost feels like weakness to admit that. But then a lot of what you do, you're doing for the purposes of fitting in. When actually, if you would fully own who you are, if you would fully own who you are, the dreams that you carry inside of your heart will suddenly become a heck of a lot more accessible to you. Now, for me, I, I, right now, I, you know, I came from being a pharmacist. I, um, I, I hated, I didn't really like it at all. Let's, let's just be honest. I mean, it served its purpose at the time, but I didn't love it. I didn't, I really didn't. I woke up really like, oh my gosh, I have to go and do that again. But that, I, I felt that I was all I had to, I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to fit in with the, the crowd. I had to do what people did. You know, people did that. People just worked doing jobs that they didn't want to do for the rest of their life because that's what you did. I set myself free. And now I only do work that I absolutely adore and I continue to set myself free. So then I become more creative, more, it's like, that's why I'm able to create these things for you guys in this community because I'm committed to this Project 334K, 334,000 people worldwide, reaching financial independence, reaching, you know, living out the call on their life, being prosperous in their relationships, in their money, in their health, in their everything, in the work that you do as well. Frankly, I want you to set yourself free from doing things that you don't really need to be doing because you've convinced yourself that in order to fit into the world as it is today, you have to do this stuff. But I say, no, you don't. You don't. There are just, there are four key ideas that you need to start really fully owning. I call them four denials. And in fact, what this program is about is the power of denial. Now, some people see denial as some kind of sacrifice thing. I need to drop everything and deny myself. No, 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 no. You have to deny the ideas that the world has planted inside of you so that you can live 
a prosperous life doing the work that you're called to do because most people don't do that. When you keep buying into the ideas that the world has placed inside of you, you get what most of the world gets, which isn't very much. Which isn't very much. If you know that you are called to live prosperously and you're called to make a difference in a bigger, bolder way, I invite you to take a look at Set Yourself Free, okay? It's something about how the power of denial will enable you to live a prosperous life now. I'm going to be teaching you over four days, but not just teaching you, because you know what, you can be taught at church or whatever, or your religious organization, you can be taught stuff, but a lot of you know that you've been taught stuff forever, and it hasn't actually <laughs> made any difference in your actual real life, let's be honest, okay? Now, when I, when I say, to say I te I'm teaching you something, I am giving you simple tasks as well to implement so that this stuff that I'm teaching you takes root inside of you. Because it's not enough just to know the information. It's, information is not enough. It needs to change you from the inside out. So yes, here is my newest offering to help you change from the inside out so that you can start to live the life that you are born to live. And it's called Set Yourself Free. How to use the power of denial to live a prosperous life now. So go and have a look at it. If you've been listening to me and you're, you're resonating with what I'm saying, you read that page, you're resonating with what it says, you need to get on board, okay? I've made it incredibly accessible as always because again, 334,000 people worldwide. I don't want money to be the thing that stops you from living the life that you're born to live. The world needs you to wake up and so I am gonna keep coming forward with these things to help you start to clear what is blocking you, keeping you from the life that you are born to live because honey, there is a difference that you're, in, you're here in this world to make. And the world needs you to start making it. Your community needs you to start making it. Your family needs you to start making it. And you want to live that life where you wake up in the morning and you know you are on purpose. You're living fulfilled. You know this is what you are here to do. So go over, have a look. It's rosemaryonunite.com forward slash set yourself free. It is time to set yourself free from the ideas that have been planted inside of you that keep you from the prosperity that is yours. Okay, until the next time, my honeys, much amazing love. Go and have a look, okay?